Tuareg is the name of an athletic, resilient African tribe known for surviving in the very harshest and most hostile of environments. And now it's the name of a Volkswagen. But the Tuareg is going to have to survive in much posher environments because VW is treating this as their luxury car. And you never quite forget that because they fitted the full complement of wood and metal and leather. And actually, it's the details that set this car apart. You don't just get one sun visor, you get one for the side and one for the front. Some really groovy dials that fade up like cinema lighting. And not just a cup holder, but a rather natty bottle holder for giant bottles of pop. There'll be a 2.5 litre diesel, a petrol V6 and also a petrol V8. But this one, the flagship model, the 50 grand car, well this has got a V10. You see? It says so here. Now that's like a Formula One car, but unlike a Formula One car's puny three litres, this one's got a whole five. Oh yeah, and it's a diesel. In fact, it's the most powerful diesel car in the world, with 308 horsepower. Now, I know diesels aren't cool because they're bought by skin flints, but this one's fine. It only does 23 to the gallon, less than a Porsche 911. So why on earth would you buy one? Well, there's a simple answer, and that's torque, the mysterious measure of a car's grunt. Think about power being the size of your bicep and torque being the length of your spanner. You see, the longer your spanner, the easier it is to undo the nut. And the Tuareg would undo nuts easily. That ten-cylinder engine devours hills with a massive 553 pound-feet of torque, or, even more impressively for metric viewers, 750 newton metres. That's more than a Chrysler Viper. And once you've done pulling, you can go zooming, which the Tuareg does very well. Thanks to clever air suspension, this is one chunky off-roader that corners like a car. Speed is a strong point too. It gets to 62 five and a half seconds faster than the diesel Range Rover, which also happens to cost a couple of grand more. And it's pedestrian friendly. Plastic wings and an aluminium bonnet ensure the softest landings in the class. It may seem odd that a top-of-the-range luxury car is diesel, but 60% of Merc S-classes sold in this country are Derv burners, so the potential for the Tuareg is huge.